my name is David McKeown. Uh, so if you look at figure one there, that's the blue sky. Check, as expected. 12 hours later, night time, where did the blue go? Uh, apparently when the sun goes, so does the blue. Uh, which is strange. Uh, so this, this, uh, this study of, of light, light, this study in physics is uh, optics. Uh, and it's been around for, I don't know, a thousand years, thousands of books, papers. I got another 18 slides, so we'll try to probably fit it all in, I think. Uh, here's six of my favorite types of light. No, no particular order. Uh, light bulbs generate light by heat. Glow sticks, chemical reactions. Uh, lasers by being freaking awesome, I think. Uh, and light is tiny. Uh, it's kind of hard to say how small light is. Um, but uh, if I give you an idea of scale, it's probably about 250,000 times smaller than the diameter of a chocolate orange, <laughs> uh, <coughs> which is about 10 centimeters. Uh, we, we're going to talk about wavelength later, but wavelength of blue light, it's about 400 nanometers. Uh, if you're working in feet, uh, you're, you're very old. Um, <laughs> like, like these guys, uh, you'll instantly recognize Isaac Newton and Christian Huygens. And they were in the 1600s, and they had a, a spat about what light was made up of. Two theories. Uh, Newton, he thought it was made up of particles. Uh, and particles are tiny little bits of, of light <laughs> represented by segments of chocolate orange here. Um, and and they're individual and they're discrete. You, can, you get hit by individual pieces of light. Huygens, he thought it was a wave. Uh, Wave is continuous, so it's like the bits being joined together. And if it, it, it vibrates, it's, it's an electromagnetic wave goes through, uh, through a medium. So that was the, the two ideas. Uh, and they didn't get on well. Uh, and <laughs> back in the 1600s, when people didn't agree, they'd write bitchy letters to each other and uh, put each other, other, each other's work down in public. Of course, scientists now use uh, email. Um, so who was right? Was it particles or waves? Well, it's a bit of both, really. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's something called wave-particle duality. So it sometimes acts like a wave and sometimes acts like a particle. Uh, but uh, that's very interesting. But we want to talk about colors. Uh, if we went up in a spacecraft and we looked at the sun, the sun is white. So where do all the colors from, come from? Because all our light has come from the sun. Uh, so I had to think about that for a while. Apparently someone else had thought about it. And if you pass light, the white light has all the colors in it. If you pass it through a prism, like uh, Newton did, you get this rainbow. And it obviously happens in nature, uh, in, in the sky, when, when the light goes through water vapor, we sometimes see a rainbow. So all the colors are in, in there. Uh, and how does that correspond to our, so we pick wave model, thanks Huygens. Uh, the wavelength decides on the color. The wavelength is just the distance between either the two peaks or the two troughs. Uh, each, each different color has a different wavelength. Uh, so the blue has a short wavelength. And as you work down through the rainbow, or, or the spectrum, if you're a physicist, uh, <laughs> then the wavelengths get longer. And red, red is the longest wavelength. So, and that's just the differences pre between the colors. So how do we see? You know, how we see light comes from a source. <laughs> and it, it goes and it hits you guys, for me. And uh, you absorb some of the light, and then you reflect the rest of it. Uh, you look very nice. <laughs> well done. So what, what, how, how does colour work in that? Well, again, the sun and all the colours are in the, the sunlight. And that hits this green plant and it absorbs all the reds and the blues and the yellows and it reflects back the green bit. So that's what we see, a green plant. So what happens when we look at the sky? Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say there. So when we look at the sky, uh, we see blue. So what's happening there? Well, the sunlight is coming down, and it's hitting particles in the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is made of nitrogen and oxygen. And when it hits those particles, it gets scattered about the place. It's called Rayleigh scattering. But not all wavelengths get scattered equally. So it actually happens that the short wavelengths, and the short wavelengths with the blue wavelengths, they get scattered much more than the long wavelengths, like the reds and the yellows, and they go through. So when we look up, we see the scattered light, which is blue. So that's why the sky is blue. If we're looking at a sunset, we're looking at the light directly from the sun. And that hasn't been scattered, so that's why we see the reds and the yellows. So I'll leave you with this picture. Thank you. <laughs>